Hey, this is Let's Make Landscapes. I'm Seth with Control Freak Video Games and Sector 10. And in this video, we're going to make a small mountain. Try to get your feet wet and uh, MC edit. Uh, first thing I want you to do is open up Minecraft and navigate to an area where you'd like to place your mountain in this particular instance. I want it right here next to this uh, interesting structure here. And we're going to put it right here. So once you're in that area, just go ahead and save and exit out of Minecraft and open up MC Edit. Alright, now that we're in MC Edit and you've loaded the world that you want to edit, you will be right where you were when you left Minecraft, already in that location. To navigate, you're going to use WASD just like you do in Minecraft, but instead of shift and space to move up and down, you're going to use Q and Z. To look around, hold down your right mouse button and move your mouse and you'll be able to look around the world. Using a combination of those keys and the uh, mouse, you'll be able to move around uh, quite efficiently and you'll get used to it over time. Alright, first thing we're going to do is go to brush and it'll be a round brush, mode is fill. Go down to chance, use your scroll wheel, and scroll that down to about 90. What that does is that gives that shape a bit of randomness, and it'll make it look more more natural in the world, and you'll find out why in the in a little bit. Take these values, it's length, width, and height, and we're going to go around like in the 20s with the length and width, and make the height larger than the length and width. Actually, let's move that down a little bit. And you're going to end up with somewhat of an egg shape. Now your mouse follows the contour of the land here. And you're basically select, you know, looking at blocks. And it's kind of like a surface select kind of mode. Hold down your right mouse button, and you're going to be able to adjust, like in a 3D world, and really place that wherever you want in the world there, above ground and everything. Over here you see stone. You're going to click that and go to gravel. Easy way to do that is just type GR and you will see it here. Gravel. Click OK. And once you've got kind of a place you want it, and I tend to dip it down into the land a little bit to really get a placement for it. And it's about where I want it. You want to place this above the ground while holding down your right mouse button. Left click. And there we go. Let's place another one. Let's adjust this just a hair and we're going to give it a little bit of different shapes here let's just kind of go around and click around give it some different shapes adjust your values to really just get some really odd different round shapes and click around on there and what we're doing is we are essentially making the building blocks of our mountain and to really make it blend in with the other surroundings make the height of a piece really small and you'll see why we're still placing these above the ground that should just about do it click around until you're happy with somewhat of a design and we're going to go back into Minecraft be sure and press control S to save your work and a lot of times depending on how many edits you do that takes a little bit so back into Minecraft we go alright now that we are back into Minecraft you can clearly see your floating egg blob of doom and gravel and it's above the ground. The reason for that is we're going to collapse all this. Go to your lowest point and knock out one of the lowest blocks and that'll start a cascade effect. And keep in mind that your frames per second will drop low on this, especially depending on the size of your structure you're collapsing. So. And that pretty much does it. And now we have somewhat a resemblance of a mountain. Although it is all gravel. But we're going to take care of that. So, save and exit Minecraft and jump right back into MC. 
All right, now that we're back in MC Edit, as you can see, we've got our gravel mountain. And if you're happy with the way it looks, that's fine and dandy. It's your mountain. You can make it however you want. But I want like an arch right in here. I want this to be an arch with an open space in the middle, give it a little bit of character. I'm going to go to Brush, and in Mode, instead of Fill, click it, go down to Replace. Over here we have Stone and Stone. Click one of those, well, the first one, and type GR, and you're going to select Gravel. And what we're doing is we're replacing gravel with air. And the reason we're doing that instead of just going to fill in air is because if we use fill in air, it's going to take out everything, grass blocks and all. In this case, we're just going to take out the gravel and replace it with stone. So over here, I'm going to adjust my height to around, let's go with about 10. Keep everything around 10, nice round number. Again, decrease our chance between 90 and 95 to give it that randomness effect where it's not a perfectly round circle. It doesn't look just too made. It blends in a little bit. And we're just going to click. Click right in there. And it's essentially you're going tunnel right through. And I'm just surface clicking. I'm not using my right mouse button. And then just click until you got a something that you're happy with. And that looks pretty good in my opinion. I like it. And then if you're also wanting to like add a little bit of overhang, you can adjust this down to kind of whatever you want. Let's let's lower the height a little bit. Let's get like a, a smaller overhang here. I'd like it to go about right there. We're going to surface click and that's going to take out a small chunk of that mountain. And you can do that any, anywhere you like and however you want give it a little bit more personality all right once you've got that to pretty much how you want your mountain to look we're going to take care of the gravel situation it's all gravel we need it to be stone and dirt to where it actually looks like it belongs so go right over here to your select tool and then you click and drag or you can just use two clicks however you prefer but you click and drag and you select around make a perimeter around that gravel make sure it's all surrounded and what we're doing, you select in a three-dimensional space. You need to make note of a couple things. One, we got that the blue corner is down low and the yellow corner is up high. So, we're looking here. Our selection box definitely go goes below the gravel mountain, and that's good. But we're going to nudge that yellow corner on up to where it selects the whole thing. Everything in there. So hold, see these two nudge buttons down here, click and hold the yellow box, and you can adjust where that box is, forward and back, left and right, using the same keys you use to move, and it's relative to your position in, in uh, the world there. So we'll use Q and we'll start moving that selection box up, and you can also hold down shift and then press Q while still holding down that nudge button, it'll jump it by like 15 blocks, and it's really useful for selecting large large objects that cover a large expanse so now that we've got our gravel mountain fully enveloped what we're going to do is go right down here to where it says fill and replace click that and you're going to first find gravel and select it and hit replace and we're going to replace it with stone okay what we're doing is replacing gravel with stone. What this swap button does is it'll swap those two values if uh, you know you have a need to do that. We don't need that right now, so we're going to replace gravel with stone. Hit replace. And that just made everything that is gravel into stone. And that's closer to where we want, but not quite. We're going to have to do one more thing. Right down here you got like a, a coffee carafe or filter or a jug whatever click at it says filter over here click right here where it says classic water flood and select top soil right here you can adjust this value how deep you want that top soil to be and what kind of block you can make beds wool saplings whatever you want but uh, in this case we're using grass hit filter and there we have it we have a mountain of stone covered in grass and that 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 looks a lot better but not quite not quite what we want we're going to go over here to chunk control and that's going to select all the chunks that uh, fits within the selection you had and hit repop 
what that does it's going to go in and that's going to add any type of like coals ores that's going to add grass and flowers trees if they're going to be trees in that area and really tie that that new landscape in with the surroundings once that is done uh, you can press control s and that will save it and we're going to go back into minecraft again to check out our landscape see how it looks All right, we are back into Minecraft, and as you can see, we have our mountain here, nice and blended in with the other surroundings here. As you can see, we've got the grass, and I'm sure we'll find some coal and other things in here that really ties it together with the rest of the landscape. Um, from here, you can go ahead and add your mountains, and if you find any blocks that are out of place, just knock them out, because uh, it's easier just to do that in Minecraft than it is with MC Edit. And, um, you know, keep in mind that MC Edit, while it does large, amazing things with landscapes, you're going to use both MC Edit and Minecraft when doing, doing your landscape editing because uh, sometimes it's just easier to do one in one than it is the other. But that's pretty much it for the video. And uh, be sure and rate and comment. Let me know what you think or if there's anything else you would like to learn how to do. And we'll see you in the next video.